Okay, so today we gonna walk you through how to install VirtualBox and then uh, get up and running with the Honix gateway and the CSI Linux uh, running with it within uh, VirtualBox. And we will do the whole thing. As you can see, my host here is a Ubuntu, a Linux machine. Um, so we have three links that we need to be aware of here. Basically, Oracle VM VirtualBox is where you can get VirtualBox, but however, we will install it on the command line, which is easier and faster. Uh, this, the Hunix uh, website where you can get all you need. I have downloaded already here for the purpose of this video, but you will get it here on these sites. I will put the links in the description. Same is true for uh, CSI Linux, where you will also go to download and then select the virtual appliance and download the virtual appliance here via your preferred way. Also, this one I've already up downloaded for the purpose of keeping the video shorter. Um, okay, let's start with probably first things first, uh, which is we'll go and install VirtualBox, right? So first thing is we do, we're going to sudo apt update. Just a minute. Hey, of course, typo. That's not that's bad, of course. Type in our password. It will then check if all the different sources, and that should be it. Get the list. There we go. Now we go and install VirtualBox. Uh, we use the command sudo apt install virtualbox. Do you want to continue? Obviously, yes, because we want to install it. So we say yes. And this usually doesn't take too long. So let's just finish this real quick. So I'm running here through a non-dedicated link today. That's why it might be a little slower than it would be usual. But anyway. There we go, and we have VirtualBox installed. We can verify that by just checking, searching for VirtualBox. Here we type again. There is my VirtualBox. We have that already in the favorite automatically, right? So there we go. We start this up real quick here. So the, nothing in here yet, obviously. So we will want to start with usually what you would do next is you download the Hunix gateway and you download the CSI Linux uh, OVA files, which we have already done. So they're already stored here on the computer locally. So next step would be first is we say file, we say import appliance, which is going to import the OVA files. And then we look, we have those here in, in uh, download. Okay. And here we can just simply start with the Unix uh, packages, which will just double click and then next, which will then show us what will be done. There will be two virtual machines for the Unix installation. The first will be the gateway. The second will be the workstation. So that's how the standard works. That base folder usually is this by default. You can change it, of course, if you would like. And the MAC address policy, all this, just leave it at default. The default RAM and and CPU allocations are fine to actually run the system. Then we have confirmed all this. We're going to say import here. It will change, tell us to uh, actually require to the terms and conditions, which would say to agree. And we say to agree to this one as well for the second VM. And this will start to um, import the virtual machine. Okay, and there we are. We have uh, our show imported now. This is Linux. Um, I'm gonna give you a real quick overview of, of both of those now, uh, but uh, for in-depth uh, in depth information about CSI Linux, I'm gonna do a separate video on that soon. So first, let's go and look at the Unix gateway. We start this off real quick by double clicking. 
Um, starting this off. So this shouldn't take too long and at the same time we also when this is started up in a couple of seconds we're gonna start up also the Unix workstation. There you go, this is done already. Let's move this on the left side. Um, and then we're going to start up now the Unix workstation at the same time. We'll connect directly in our case, so we'll be enabled, not yet selected, and we'll say next. Just the basic installation, the basic configuration for the first time when you start up the the gateway, right? Um, while well, this is putting also on the right side, connected to the dual network, finish, there we go, we're done. Um, this will be our workstation here, so this will just basically be our gateway, and we can here again probably check by typing Unix. Okay, uh, we will do a system. System check automatically when this is uh, initially started up, right? Just that, that rather the background. Basically, what the system check will do, it will check all the connectivity and it will also check if there's updates available for any packages that are used so that you're always on the latest versions. So we go through the same setup wizard here. We say understood, also what is, we say understood, of course, we have read all this. And then it's completed, we can just finish. It will do the same thing, it will run a system check and basically this is gonna be it we'll just wait for this to finish on the left side as well once both are done we do a few demos as you can see here on the left side now we had a few that actually required to be updated we will also see this if we run this in the command line. So you can also run the system check in the command line. Uh, sorry, typo. And this will basically do nothing else. So connect to the door, all is good so far, but let's see. Same will happen on the right side, of course. So now what we will do here on both sides is we just run upgrade on root. And this will take some time. Do the same here, upgrade on root. And this will also take some time. Confirm both of those with yes. Do the same here. Okay, so as we can see, both are updated now. So just check real quick. It's Nix if everything is running. Yes, it's running. And here we'll just, for example, uh, open a web browser. Take a second for the first time. Now all the communication will go through the gateway here uh, on this side. So we can see here already, it'll be info.io. Check a few things here. See, burn as our as our location Switzerland, and if we would go here and restart, you can see this to change as well as we have now gone through a different route. There you go. Now it's going to Germany. So this is 
basically what it is. Um, there's a few pretty good tools here. I mean, the, the, the typical standard tools for internet and there's a, a few crypto wallets here. Uh, so this could be your safe way of accessing the internet or whatever you, you want to do and uh, make sure that your identity and your actual IP address stays protected. So this is a pretty good way. This is just a Unix workstation. But what we want to see now on top of this is we will actually look at the third virtual machine that we have created here, which is the CSI Linux. So CSI Linux is a distribution that is based on, also based on Debian Ubuntu, um, which basically provides you with a pre-configured set of tools that are targeted at people who do OS in uh, stuff like open source intelligence investigations, forensic stuff, and all that. Um, so we'll bring this up real quick. Uh, we do this by double clicking it. And then we can actually put this on the left here. Smaller, so we just leave this to boot for the first time. This will take a couple of seconds. At the same time here, we're good. We leave the gateway running. So I will show real quick how you can also use this gateway on your CSI Linux machine out of the box. So this is at the time of this video, the, the latest version of CSI Linux, which is 2021.2. I'm expecting there will be a, a newer one soon uh, in the next couple of months. There should be a 2022 version coming out. Yeah. So there we go. Gonna enter the default credentials, which is CSI, CSI. And here we are. Okay. While this finishes the boot up, Just wait. Okay, there we go. So you see the default default screen of CSI Linux looks pretty much like this with a black background, uh, unless you have already done some configuration changes, right? So uh, how this relates now to the gateway is gonna be here. So you have here the pre-configured. So first of all, let's have a look at the IP configuration here. Okay, which is, as you can see, we have our look, lookback interface, we have our S3 for the standard NUT, and we have our S8, which is the gateway interface for the Unix gateway here. Um, then we could just select this one, and we'll put in our password here, turn it on, and now take note of the background changes once we actually connect it the background will change. So we have a visual interpretation that we know now that we're going through the gateway, uh, through, the, through the Unix gateway, and we will know if we now open the browser. These things take a little, okay. So this is something that happens occasionally, right? Uh, when you just have imported the OVA. So how we fix the Firefox error is just simply using the Firefox minus P command, which will simply open the profile, uh, the profile manager. We just uh, delete those profiles. We create a new profile, which is just the default user profile. And then say start Firefox and that will do it. There we go. And here we go again to our famous site, which is ipinfo.io. Yeah, so we see right now it's going through Budapest. We could now just simply restart the Tor service here again on the gateway, on the Unix gateway, and then refresh this site again. And we would find that this will also change. Uh, 
There you go. It's now via fronts. Uh, yep, so that's the way of doing it through the Unix gateway, of course, on CSI Linux. There's other ways to do this as well. You can just let's turn off the, the gateway here real quick. Uh, turn it off. Take note of the background change again. And it will show you here the actual IP address again now, right? So with this, we have changed the background. We know now that we are going clear text. We're going to, through the clear clear net, going out here without any any door, door VPN or without any Unix gateway, right? And we can just use the door VPN, in fact, right? So this is started by clicking the door VPN icon and then again providing the password. Now we know that this is our NAT interface, so this is the one we need to choose here, and then we need to choose to turn the VPN on. And again, once the VPN is turned on and all traffic goes through the Tor VPN uh, now, it will change the background again. Give it a couple of seconds. There you go. Uh, now you know you're going through the Tor VPN, and that's a visual interpretation for which is pretty comes in pretty handy because you know when the background changes back to black you're actually not protected or actually you're not at least not going through the door VPN or through the CSI uh, through the, sorry through the Unix gateway right so these are the two ways and for CSI Linux again I said it already I'll I'm gonna do a separate video on that because it's a pretty powerful uh, investigation uh, tool uh, for all your forensics and tech investigation uh, needs, for your research needs, for your case management needs and all that, right? So with this, I think we should be good for today. I've shown you how to install a virtual box on a Ubuntu host and how to get the Unix gateway package uh, to import in that virtual box and also how to get the CSI Linux to import in the virtual box and how to start those up and how to use those, how to use the uh, the Unix uh, workstation through the Unix gateway and also how to use the Unix gateway to route all traffic from the CSI Linux through it. With this, uh, feel free to comment any any requests that you may have for future videos. And for now, I will hope you all have a good day and take care and talk to you soon.